And it all started with this tweet from yesterday. Second wager tonight, I'll be playing the man with more hours on 2K than anyone else on the planet. Legend Bullet Ticino $2,000 wager part. Uh, start time, you know, 8, 50, 8 o'clock, you know, which is 11 PST. All that good stuff, man. The boy Ticino says, I'm taking on all comers. I'm playing everybody. And if you want to get this money, you can get it. But if you want to get this money, you don't even got to do that. All you got to do is like the video and comment bars. We're going to go with bars again. Bars down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, uh, every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC, Cash App, or we give away a copy of a video game. We're going to be doing that after stream, after this video, right after this video on the stream. So make sure y'all hit us up and uh, come check that out. Maybe you'll be a winner. Number two, this is the more important one. Every single month, we give away... Uh, we, if, well, if we can average 8K views, we're gonna give away a next-gen console, a um, 500 bucks, or a laptop. That's on y'all. And last but not least, the bots are back, man. Make sure y'all ignore the bots because the bots are not me. I'm not giving y'all my phone number down there. I only got Instagram and Twitter. I don't have Telegram. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there, 2K Lab, man. So check it out, man. So uh, quick video today. It's not even gonna be very long, bro. We just want to check out. I did a breakdown. Uh, on the wager you can watch the whole thing i was talking uh you know doing the breakdown talking about the stuff breaking down plays with the telestrator and all that you can check that out we streamed that last night make sure you check that out but the community reacted man he says hey man just watch the tacino wager he's a goat for real for real one person said he just left right speed boosting rim run he's butt but tacino is better uh, we're gonna talk about that in a second definitely tuned in for the tacino bullet wager this has been long coming definitely tuned in uh this has been a long time coming for real for real that was dope and then swante put out something but what we're gonna talk about is two games in that joint bullet did not have his uh badges on not bullet tacino didn't have his badges on and that was a little bit of a uh it was a little bit of a uh a disadvantage for him because a couple of times he was going to the rim and he wanted to bail out and he couldn't bail out now the first game they won he had his badges on they won just the middle two games he did not have it on and then the last game he had it on they won but it was like i still feel like we would have won regardless of what and i feel the same way i think they would have won regardless of what but it probably would have been a little bit more competitive series had he had it but i don't know if tacino pulls it out chrissy t and tacino did play well and they did uh play somebody next and uh the real jgf um and they beat them unmercilessly so maybe he is right man but you know it is what it is but one thing i did want to point out let me see if this this i uh, did want to point out so you're gonna see right here this is what a bailout did come in so you look at this play right here when he was playing the real jgf he, he just know i just climbed the ladder and got there but then tacino greens the layup and uh he makes it and you see real jg <laughs> real jgf was here here and then the next frame and he's gone I, I, but you know, uh, that, that would have helped him. And like we said, my boy T. Mills and Instant Burner says, Gold Bailout really changed this series. And he's right. If he had had Gold Bailout, it probably would have been a lot more competitive series. But not only that, but Needle Threader, because some of those passes, they wouldn't get stolen uh, if he had Needle Threader. So, you know, it is what it is. If you watch the wager, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, because I thought it was a great wager. It was fun to watch. And, uh, you know, it was just one of those things. Just adding life into the community. Next up, he's going to be proud to play Joe Knowles or grinding or somebody like that so we're gonna see how that goes up next we got the boy laker fan saying giant slayer is an a tier badge now uh you can debate a wall and i'm not gonna lie man brutman using giant slayer all year and fearless finisher and with the double up that he has from the finishing badges bro this builder he's got right here that you see on the court this build is he's just the ultimate he's the ultimate asshole, bro it, it just is what it is we don't have people already saying come on man you sweating too hard get off the game so you know it is what it is up next we got the boy joe knows saying pro-am just ain't been the same since i stopped running ball the center was fun but we still going back to the 2k 20 days ball in my hand uh ball in my hands times for me to time for me to launch uh the game and then he say i'm about to die. i'm coming out here it's just like when i get my victory control i'm coming out here and i'm selling everybody's i ain't gonna lie to y'all but at least he's laughing about it man now you know uh like you said the good old days you know it is what it is, the E-League. If y'all really want to do an E-League, man, I do want to do one of these leagues because I do like watching games and doing that stuff. Make sure y'all hit me up in the Discord. The link is in the description. And let's just talk. We have some people that are talking about it, but let's let's try. I'm going to try to shoot for Wednesday, and let's try to run a little mini-league like uh, 
maybe six teams and then we just run a little mini league or something like that and just see how it goes over the weekend and if we can go then we'll try to add and add and all that good stuff man we got to come up with some rules berg is the commissioner let's get it done man uh up next last but not least we got the boy at laker fan saying it's crazy that bullet might actually be the worst finishing badge in the whole game it's uh I've been hit with one bully animation all freaking year. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, they did catfish us with that. They hyped that joint up and they made us think that bully was gonna be that bad. But the reason that bully is not that bad is because we thought that you were gonna be able to come in there and bump somebody and just do the young. Y'all know the youngest dunk when he does that. We thought that was gonna be the case, but that's not the case. You bump people and you lay it up. Now the layup, uh, layup, I think bully combined with layup timing is probably very, very, very good. But we just don't have that. A lot of people not using that. So, you know, it is what it is. If you use Bully Man, let me know. Um, let me know. And uh, we'll just see. But I just think you just can't bump people that are much bigger. A lot of people aren't riding you all the way to the rim. So you're not going to get a chance. A lot of people do switches and stuff. So once you get beat, they just go ahead and switch. So you just don't get a lot of opportunity to use it, man, I think. If it worked on standing layups, I think we might have a W, but it doesn't. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Did y'all enjoy the bullet uh, joint? And like, we right here, we playing the game right now. We're going to be streaming. So you just see Brute and Gambit. They just standing out here and we in between games. So I figured I'd drop this video. So make sure y'all like the video. Comment bars down below, man. Let me know who you think uh, would have won if Tassino had all his badges on. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Temp. Gosh,